John Denver once sang, ain't it good to be back home again. I got my quail, we brought them back, we got them all cleaned. Unfortunately, I had to put them in the freezer. But it ain't gonna matter much because they haven't been in there very many days at all. So, let's get to it. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take them out of the bags. Uh, I'm gonna run some under some uh, cold running water, get them all cleaned up, pat them dry, put a little olive oil on them, I think, and then I don't know when I'm gonna put my salt and pepper on. I never know for sure. I think I'm one of those kind of guys, you know? So let's see what happens. I'm gonna get these things cleaned up. But these quail look very good. They were tough going, I will tell you that. And we were very fortunate that we have any birds to eat at all. It was a tough bird year in Northeast Kansas where I grew up. And I have to say, give a lot of credit to my brother, Bill, because if it wasn't for him and his shooting abilities, uh, we might be eating chicken. <laughs> well, that's about it. All well, done now, we'll just let these babies sit here and uh, await their date with the grill, and we'll go out there and get that fire going. And I think now you can appreciate why we leave the skin on them because they're just, these birds are so delicate unless you're putting them, you're sautéing them where you're actually keeping moisture on them. This really does keep them from drying out. And like I said, they go, they cook mighty quickly. And it's amazing even from this distance that uh, Cherokee charcoal is still pretty warm. A little liberal application of salt. And we'll put the final one on when we flip them back the other way. Now for a little fresh ground pepper. Another thing I don't think you can use too much of. And now we got about another four minutes and then it is Shangri-La. That'll do it. So we had a really great hunt. Badger really did a nice job, I thought, of pointing the quail, finding the quail. It was tough hunting, but it wasn't ideal weather conditions, but really, it's one of those deals where you can hardly wait to go do it again, and I think there's something so satisfying about going out and bringing home the bacon yourself and putting it on the table, and that's exactly what we've done here, and my daughter Coco and I are gonna enjoy some quail now, right? The fruits of our labor, Coco, what do you think? Tastes just like chicken? Okay, well, let's see. And keep in mind, Brigo on the Range is going to be coming to you in January 2013 on the Sportsman's Channel.